What's good people, Jed Games here, back with another video covering the Fortnite feud. This breaking news story that has kind of shook the gaming world. I'm not going to front, that's as simple as what it is. I've covered the breaking news, I've covered Epic versus Apple and Android. I've also covered my predictions on what I think is going to happen from this entire situation. Now it's time to assess what could happen in the future and is this going to spread to other platforms now are we getting to a point now where epic is just going to throw it all out of the window and try and force through these changes or is the game just going to vanish from the face of the earth who knows let's jump into it so the first thing i want to address is this could not just be a mobile thing this could be this could be a microsoft or a sony thing as well this could even nintendo it could stretch out to when you look at what they're actually doing they're saying i'm not gonna pay your tax i'm not gonna pay to use your platform i'm not gonna pay for for anything for your service i've made all of this you will get what i pay you and be grateful for that. That is what Epic Games are saying, essentially. So what means they wouldn't do it to Sony, to Nintendo, to Microsoft? What makes them exempt from all of this? Why would they just target Apple and Android and not touch Sony or Microsoft? Who knows? So when you examine what these consoles are taking, what these operating systems are taking, Sony takes a 30% cut exactly like apple and exactly like android it's the same fee they're paying you spend ten dollars we take three dollars as 30 percent tax so it's the same it's the same figures right microsoft on the other hand takes five to fifteen percent tax or in commission for making a sale on their platform so as long as epic don't put their new payment system on microsoft i think microsoft should stay out of the situation and it seems, it seems that Fortnite is going to be safe on Xbox. It's, it seems it's going to be safe on Xbox. So with that taken into account, Epic aren't really losing more money than they would want to be. Like we saw the proposed 10% to, uh, to Apple, to Android, because they dropped the price by 20%, meaning, you know, they would happily pay another 10%. If the current deal stood at the current price, uh, then it would just be 10% to these guys. So it just doesn't, in my opinion, it just doesn't make sense uh, to go, well, this whole thing doesn't make sense, really. It doesn't make sense to just go after Microsoft like that, especially when their commission is considerably lower uh, versus all of the other big players. And I would imagine a company like, like Fortnite that's doing, most likely doing big numbers, right? It's most likely doing millions and millions, maybe even billions of dollars in sales. I think there's probably a special agreement there with Microsoft. I can't prove it. I don't know if there is. I haven't done any research into it. But I feel like there would be, if this is, you know, a 5 to 15% variable, I feel like there would be a special deal in there. So the Galaxy Store and Nintendo are also taking 30% commission for every sale through their platform. <laughs> this means every single platform apart from Microsoft apart from Microsoft Xbox, could be impacted by Epic's decision to refuse to pay this tax of 30%. So it's not just Sony or Microsoft, it, it, it's pretty much every platform. It's pretty much every platform. But with that being said, it's clear Epic is playing an incredibly, incredibly dangerous game here, as they could just annoy every single platform. No one's gonna even want to work with Epic because they're just known as as the black sheep really as the people that are just <laughs> not worth working with so if I did that you've you've annoyed all the suppliers you've got a t-shirt factory you've annoyed all the suppliers for the cotton you've annoyed all the suppliers for the stitching you've annoyed all of the suppliers for the shipping how is your product gonna get out there who is ever gonna have your product if you can't get these things right if you can't have a nice working ecosystem right that's what it is at the end of the day it's an ecosystem everyone has their part to play here it's a dangerous game it's a dangerous game that's for sure if if it goes wrong epic are looking at a big fall from grace here 
they're looking at billions of billions of dollar in lost revenue. And ultimately, it's probably gonna tarnish their reputation. Cause the more knowledge that gets out of there with why they want this lawsuit, why they're, why they're trying to sue uh, Apple, I don't know if they're trying to sue Android, why they're trying to sue these people, it's gonna tarnish their reputation for sure. Especially when you consider their whole argument is to give the consumers, to give you guys, the people that play and purchase V-Bucks a better rate for the V-Bucks so they can spend less. It's faux, it's faux. If they wanted to save you money, if they wanted to give you a better deal, they would just take the hit themselves, wouldn't they? Just think about it, think about it. 30% on any of these platforms is standard five to 15 on, on Microsoft, granted. 30% is the standard on these platforms, there's no compromise in there. So if you wanna give a better price to your consumers, take the hit yourself that's what it comes down to but i hope this video was informative i hope it's thought provoked leave a comment below on what you think could happen how would this affect you if fortnite wasn't to exist anymore jeez i don't know what games i would play anymore man that would be that would be a that would be a really heartbreaking situation um no more fortnite but interesting times we're gonna have to see what happens guys peace and love Thank you for tuning in, guys. Stay positive, and I'm going to catch you in the next Fortnite Feud episode. Boom.